Hi, I'm Everett. Welcome to The Transcript. This week, The Transcript covers the arrival of new students from Puerto Rico, sits down with their girls' basketball team, and gets an inside look into student bands at Northampton High. On Tuesday, Democrat Doug Jones won the Alabama special Senate election against Republican Roy Moore, becoming the first Democrat to be elected to the United States Senate in Alabama in 25 years. The Alabama Secretary of State reported that Jones won with 49.2% of the vote, and Moore received 48.38. However, Moore is refusing to concede the election and is calling for a recount. Jones's win brings the Republicans down to a 51-49 to 49 majority in the Senate. On Monday, a 27-year-old man from Brooklyn detonated a crude pipe bomb which was strapped to his body in a passageway between the Times Square and Port Authority stations. While no one died, three people were injured. He said he selected the location because of the Christmas posters in the area and that it was in retaliation for U.S. airstrikes against the Islamic State in Syria. Yesterday, the Federal Communications Commission voted 3-2 to two to remove the net neutrality rules it put in place two years ago. Those rules prevented service providers from blocking or throttling certain internet traffic and offering fast lanes and slow lanes. The vote lasted for around an hour and at one point was interrupted by an evacuation of the chambers due to a security threat. It is expected that the decision may end up in the courts or Congress. Hi, I'm Flora Castillo and this is Tell It Like It Is. On Wednesday, September 20th, 2017, Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico as a Category 4 hurricane, following Hurricane Irma. Since both hurricanes hit the island, many have criticized the U.S. government for their lack of support with the island's recovery. The official death toll is 64. The island was still without power nearly after a month after the disaster. Since the crisis, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA, has provided help to many Puerto Rican citizens to relocate into different locations around Massachusetts. And Northampton High School has opened doors to many upcoming students from Puerto Rico. I sat down with Principal Brian Lombardi to discuss logistical challenges ahead with this new student population and the growing ELL population. Right now, the information we have is that um, families coming over from um, Puerto Rico from the hurricane, um, at the quality end, they can hold up to 20 to 30 families. We have 13 or 14 students right now that qualify as English language learners, and we're expected that we could go up to 30 students and more. So that would give us, so in your question, we could take up to 16 more students potentially. Currently, there is only one full-time ELL teacher, and the number of ELL students is growing. So what might be the change in the future with the ELL staffing? We actually have um, one full-time and one person that's 0.33. Still not enough. Um, the projections are that if we receive up to another additional nine students and what we have, we would be able to increase the 0.33 to a half-time position. If we do get up to 20 students, we would then be able to get a, uh, I'm sorry, 30 students, we would be able to have um, potential for an additional full-time staff. Um, the superintendent has authorized that, um, and the other, he's asked us in each school budget in the district to freeze a certain amount of our budget um, to allocate those funds in case we reach that number so that we would be able to hire um, and other um, additional sections for our ESL. More ELL students means more needs for accommodation. I sat down with current ELL teacher Susan Sullivan to discuss what is currently being done and how the ELL program will adapt to accommodate new students. They will adapt through the need for increased funding and increased curriculum materials as well as more social emotional supports for these students. All of our ELL students come from different backgrounds, but we're finding that many of them need support for different experiences they've gone through in the past. Um, this group of Puerto Rican students is our first group that we could call environmental refugees, which is going to be a new phase for all of the United States as we look at global warming. This is our first like global warming refugees. Puerto Rico is in need for your help, and I want to motivate you to welcome those in need. I'm Flor Castillo, this was Tell It Like It Is, and happy holidays. Hi, I'm Gabe Nicotera. Welcome to Hamped Up. 
Did it go in? Yes! Let's get it! Y'all ready for this? Northampton basketball. The two reasons why Amherst is crying right now is collectively 4-0. Less than one fortnight ago, senior Anna Kerwood sprained her ankle in practice, so I sat down with her and senior Anna Conley on their hopes for their last year playing for the girls basketball team. Well, now that I've sprained my ankle, I think that the team will still be strong and because we have a lot of depth and a lot of players who are really versatile, so I think it'll be easy for them to fill my role temporarily. I think that it's going to be hard to say who should be one leader um, or a couple leaders that show up for the team. I think that team unity is going to be super important for all of us um, and really coming together as a unit. Individually, we're not half as strong as we would be as a team. So I think that if we all come together and use our strengths, um, I think we can come together to make something really special this season. Um, so I don't think there's one leader, a couple leaders that should step up. I think everybody should come together. I also sat down with sophomore starter Amanda Mishkowski regarding her experience on the team as well as her goals for the future. You're one of the only girls who has made the varsity team your freshman year, so how has your experience been with the coach and with your teammates? Last year we had a lot of experience as a team in the tournament and this year coming into it we were more developed as a team and we were kind of more like a family. Um, so it was more easy coming into it. Do you have any specific goals you wish to accomplish before you graduate? Um, this year I think that we all have a team goal of um, winning Western Mass and maybe even going farther. And for personal goals, I would like to make Super 7 the next two years and get my 1,000 point. Great. Thanks so much for being on Hipped Up. Today, the girls' basketball team is looking to earn their third win this season in Pittsfield at 7 o'clock. The boys' basketball team is also looking for their third win against Hopkins Academy away at 7.30. The boys' and girls' indoor track teams face off against Longmeadow High School at Smith College starting at 6.45. Finally, the swimming and diving teams look to win against Chicopee Comprehensive High School at JFK Middle School starting at 4 p.m. Hopefully Chicopee can comprehend what a loss feels like. Thanks for watching Hamped Up. I'm Gabe Nicotera. Hey -o. Welcome to the other stuff. Music! You know what it is. We have lots of talented musicians here at Northampton High School, whether they be singers or play instruments. There's a lot of people who play music around here, so if you just like talk to some people, get a few names together, you can always play some music. It's mostly just people's enthusiasm. Like, like they want we to don't really sing. need much else. Well, in the high school band program, we play like an hour and a half a day, which is a nice way to get a lot of practice in. No, people like to see happy people. Our peers are really Supportive. enthusiastic about us, which like fuels us. Students at NHS participate in music courses, but some students take their passion for music outside the doors of NHS. Uh, I'm in a band called Vibe Town. We ask student musicians how we ourselves could make music without knowing how to sing or play instruments. If you don't have instruments or a larynx, you can just bang on like various body parts and like part. create you're, rhythm. You're Everyone can sing and make music. Oh. I mean, if you can produce noise, you can sing. Then you're like already there. Yeah. And as long as you enjoy it, I mean, that's what, that's what I was saying. Support. Not everyone can be Beyonce. Uh, just gotta play more music, you know. The more you play music, no music is bad music.
music is bad music. Thanks for watching. The transcript will return for winter break on January 5th. In the meantime, make sure to go to nhstechnology.org to check out all previous episodes and online extras. Today is the last day to submit applications to work on the transcript for second semester. So make sure to turn in your applications to Jeremy Whalen in room G16.